So last night, I'm looking at this Malaysian airline thing, and I see a story from the International Business Times. And, you know, I don't want to vouch for the International Business Times, but if I remember right, if memory serves me correctly, they're a pretty credible uh, source. And then we found out that um, not only is it the International Business Times, but the Wall Street Journal has reported a um, uh, and published a press release from this company that says, yes, these people were on board. Now, what does that mean is left up to conjecture. And I want to read to you what the Business Times is, International Business Times is reporting, and clearly set out that these people, according to the Wall Street Journal, were on the plane. However, the theory around it is being labeled as a conspiracy theory. But just about everything in the world today is being labeled a conspiracy theory. Only because just about everything going on in the world today is Is a a conspiracy. conspiracy. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. All right, so here it is from um, uh, from Samantha Payne from the International Business Times. Conspiracy theorists have swooped in on claims that 20 employees of a semiconductor manufacturing firm which develops components for high-tech weapons systems, and here's the part that caught my eye, and aircraft navigation, among other things, were on board the missing Malaysian passenger jet. Okay, why are conspiracy theorists jumping on that? Well, again, the, it's not a conspiracy that they were on board. It has been confirmed now by the company that they were on board. The company is Freescale Semiconductors, a Texas-based technology company. They were based uh, in several manufacturing sites in Kuala Lumpur and in China. Twelve of the employees were from Malaysia. Eight were from China, according to a spokesperson for the company. Links between the plane's mysterious disappearance and the radar-blocking capabilities of some of the aeronautical hardware technology produced by Freescale have been pushed by Citizens News, uh, Citizen News sites before its news. So this is the conspiracy part. The conspiracy part is that the technology that they were working on makes aircrafts disappear. It is conceivable, according... Um, to the site it is conceivable that the malaysia airlines flight mh370 plane is cloaked hiding with high-tech electronic warfare weaponry that is that exists and is being used in fact this type of technology is precisely the expertise of freescale that the 20 employees on board the missing flight the anonymous author on the site makes reference to the capabilities of israel making an attack on iran such an attack would include jamming the electric grid internet cell phone network using devices such as the one that mimics a maintenance cell phone signal that commands the cell network to sleep the report also references a story of fox news that explained new stealth technology that makes airplanes invisible to radar and also can make them hard to spot with the naked eye. The general public may not hear about how far the U.S. has really come because it is and should remain classified, says a former Navy SEAL. Countries are still playing catch-up, but they are closing the gap. Freescale Semiconductor has been developing microprocessors, sensors, and other technologies for the past 50 years. The technology it creates is commonly referred to as embedded processors, which, according to the firm, are standalone semiconductors that perform dedicated computing functions in electronic systems. The passengers on board were engineers and other experts working to make freescale semiconductor chip facilities in China and Kuala Lumpur more efficient. Um, These were people with a lot of experience and technical background, and they were very important people according to the Vice President of Global Communications and Investor Relations for Freescale. They're a definite loss for the company. Now, the reason why I want to bring this up is because I, 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 I don't know what happened. I don't know, um, you know, I don't know if Freescale is actually making this technology. It appears that that is what they do. But again, it is classified if they do make it. I will tell you that this isn't something that Israel would grab. This is something that a country like Pakistan would grab. If we could make airplanes completely invisible and disappear, 
How great would that be if you were a terrorist? Now, let me let me give you another theory, and this is a theory that I was working on last week in my head when I thought, okay, I think that plane is grounded someplace. Then you start to realize, well, to land that plane, you have to now hide the plane. I mean, how do you land something like that without anybody knowing it? You have to be someplace like in Pakistan where you can land a 777 and then pull it into a hangar where nobody is looking. That's really difficult to do. But what would your end game be? A couple of things. One, what was on board in the cargo hold? Maybe there was a lot of cash. Maybe there was a D.V. Cooper kind of thing. Maybe there was computing computers or some, some sort of software or hardware that, you know, it was being transported to China. Okay. Maybe it was the people on board. Maybe the people are really important. That would fit into the free scale of free scale can make the planes disappear. Now you're going to be working for us. I mean, you don't think that would happen? Or the third option, and really, once I saw the free scale thing, I think they could actually fit together. Not saying that they do, not claiming that this is it. This is just more plausible than ha, they turned around and then just kind of fell into the water. How much would you pay to have an airplane that could be cloaked, that knew how to fly the jetways, that could be repainted to look like uh, British Airways, another 777 someplace, that you could fly it, apparently, for seven hours. That's a great distance. Fly that plane for seven hours without being detected. So why couldn't I fly that plane, let's say, over the Atlantic and keep it low enough and fly in exactly the same pathway, just low, as, let's say, a British airliner? Blow the British airliner out of the sky. I haven't talked to my pilot friend about this blow the British airliner out of the sky and just jump up, turn all your navigation system on, cloaked now as that plane, and you're now flying to, let's say, Washington, D.C. in that plane. It's like a lot of effort for this sort of thing. This huh? seems to be a lot of effort for something. Mm. Unless this thing just went off into the side of a mountain, but it flew for seven hours. So unless it went into the side of a mountain or it went into the water... Where is it? That's an awful lot of effort for something. What is that asset? It was either something in the hold, in a seat, or the physical plane. And possibly two of the three. I mean, if you're, uh, I, it's possible. I mean, like, it's hard to tell. I mean, look, looking at this story, they're sort of reporting on the the conspiracy story so it's like i don't I know that i mean and you, I but you have the con, you have the com confirmation that those people were on they were board. on the flight i just don't know i mean looking at the story don't, i don't it's not clear if they actually make it as you said it would be classified anyway why so would you wear look unless the guy was suicidal yeah could, and it could it be like, that he was just i'm a gonna crazy dr person yeah i'm yes. a crazy person and i'm just going to mm -hmm. fly that this is a real possibility I'm a crazy person. I'm going to fly it for seven hours, and everybody's going to try to talk me into not committing suicide, and I'm going to slam it into the side of a mountain that nobody nobody has found for a week, or I'm going to slam, you know, slam it into the ocean, which is possible that he's in the ocean, and we don't find it. I mean, Amelia Earhart. Yeah, but it's so not that, 1937 anymore. It isn't 1937. You, know, you and, think. And for him to take the steps that he took shows real forethought of something, not just I'm suicidal. And usually, remember, people like that want to go out in a blaze of glory. Mm -hmm. So there's no blaze of glory. You have all of these passengers. Has anybody really thought about if this plane still is intact, who has the passengers? And why has no one taken credit? I've never heard... I mean, you know... the. A, a car backfires someplace, and some little peon terrorist organizations take credit. A car backfires, and they're like, yep, that was us. <laughs> There's nobody yeah. taking credit for this. It is shockingly quiet. Is it not? Yeah, I mean, there's, no one said anything. I don't think anyone's claimed anything. Is that not either. shocking, how you, quiet it is? Yeah, because usually they'll they'll do it just to get their names in the paper.
raise some extra funds, get a couple new recruits. Here, nothing. And we're looking at Muslim terrorists. Remember what the guy said. Remember what he said, what his T-shirt said. Democracy is dead. Who who else on the world stage that is a spooky, spooky individual that can keep people quiet also believes democracy is dead? The, 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 the spooky thing gave it away, didn't it? I mean, you're talking. No, I'm not talking about uh, <laughs> Soros because he has a. No, I know. I'm not talking about Soros. I mean, Putin. Putin can make people sure. just mm-hmm. disappear. I mean, but this is. I mean, this is the thing, which is why this story is so interesting. Is literally there's nothing to go on. I mean, every day it's a completely different story, and it's so hard yeah, to speculate. Yeah, but it's getting worse. It's every so hard. day it gets worse. But I mean, like, it, like the, the 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 CNN animation I was talking about earlier had them going over the Indian Ocean and then spreading out into an area that was basically a thousand square miles. Now, obviously, if that happened and they crashed into the ocean, uh, it's, it's certainly explainable that they wouldn't be able to find anything. But if they, the fact that they didn't know it went that direction until five days after, and that no one really seems to have any information, it's so hard to come up with even a theory because every day the base foundational information we have about the story is different. We're told something completely different almost every day. Really strange. And I guess that's why it's a fascinating story. FBI experts now say disappearance could be act of piracy, suggesting passengers are being held. <laughs> Again, like that wasn't anything until today. When did we hear that story? And I believe that... I don't, see, this is the problem. Once you once you lose trust as a government, once you lie to your people over and over again, like, this is what happens. Conspiracy yeah. theories yeah. go crazy. Because I don't trust our government at all. Remember, they were the ones who rushed to say, it's definitely not terror. It's definitely not any of that. Well, you, how do you even know that? And because you rushed out to say that, I no longer listen to you. I no longer can trust you. You could say, we don't think it's terror, we hope it's not terror, but the investigation is still ongoing, and uh, we don't even want to speculate. That would be the responsible thing to do. Instead, they're acting like a talk show host. Me. Well, you know what? You know who is on board. Okay, you're in a position of authority. You probably should zip it.